Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do um, something a little bit different. I wanted to do an Indian bridal look. I love Indian culture. I love their food and their their outfits and their makeup. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity since it is um, a wedding season to do a bridal Indian look. I use turquoise and a very blush lip and um, just a very dramatic eye again. Hi guys, so we are going to start with the other eye. I've already finished one eye completely. I used Lancome eyeliner in turquoise and I'm just putting that all over my eyelid. And then just to make sure that I can lock that creamy eyeliner, um, I am actually going to put that teal color from Costa Sands palette and that's going to lock in the product and make sure that it does not go anywhere. Then right after I am going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium and I am going to use my Costa Sands eyeliner and I'm going to kind of carve out or map out where I want that cut crease to go. So this is going to give me a very, very sharp cut crease. And then I'm using my Smashbox Exposure Palette and I'm using that chocolate brown color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend it out. I do apologize that the camera is a little bit blurry, but it will get better shortly. Right after, I am going to use that transition shade and I'm going to blend everything out to make sure that there's no harsh lines right outside of my cut crease area. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend to make sure that it looks nice and seamless. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I was having a good time dancing and doing my makeup at the same time. To make sure that my brow look very sharp, I am going to use a Lim Rimmel London natural eyeliner and I'm just going to define it further. Then I'm using my e.l.f. gel liner and I'm going to line uh, my eyes. And just want to let you know that in the description bar below, I am going to put my brow routine in addition how I do my liner and how I put my lashes so that will be a little bit more detail and show you guys how I do it then I am going to use a little bit of that black liner and I'm going to intensify that cut crease even further and I'm gonna dip in in my a Smashbox eyeshadow and I am going to take that chocolate brown and again I'm going to blend out right outside of that cut crease area just to make sure that it looks nice and seamless and there's this transition versus being very very harsh. Right after I am going to put my Rimmel London mascara. I'm not going to go too crazy just because right after I'm going to put my falsies on but on top of that um, lighter liner that I put to carve up my brows I am putting a light or white shadow and that is going to lock in the product and it will go nowhere again I am putting my lashes on just to make sure that it's in place and then I have my foundation on sorry that did cut for my foundation I use NARS sheer glow in Barcelona and for my concealer I use prolong concealer by MAC in NC30 I am going to blend it out with my beauty blender in the triangle motion so I will conceal and highlight at the same time and that's the best way for me to hide my dark circles. I am going to use e.l.f. concealer brush with Benai Banana Powder and I'm going to set my concealer to make sure that's locked in place and it's going to go nowhere. Then I'm using my Too Faced bronzer in Chocolate Soleil and I'm going to bronze and contour a little bit. I went too crazy with my um, bronzer or um, contour um, on my forehead so I'm just trying to blend that out. No worries, we're going to fix it and then I am going to use the same uh, color and I'm going to carve out my um, jawline and then the way I conceal my nose which uh, sorry my contour my nose is again using the same color 
um, the same bronzer and I just use my fingers to contour my nose. It does make a huge, huge difference. If you do want to see a tutorial, let me know and I can make that happen. Going back to that Rimmel London eyeliner and I'm just putting that in the corner of outer corner I guess of my eyes and just to make sure that it's very light and bright so that um, color of turquoise pops even more. Then I'm going back to my e.l.f. gel liner and Coastal Sense liner brush and I'm going to extend my eyeliner further than from where my eye ends. That's going to give, you, give the illusion of bigger eyes. And then I am going to just align the bottom line um, all the way and connect it from just a corner all the way to the end of my eye and I'm just taking my time making sure it's not too thick but I still wanted to make sure it is dramatic so I'm just taking my time and just lining that slowly but surely in my waterline in in a bit you're gonna see that I put my Annabelle waterproof eyeliner and that stuff is really really good it is drugstore it is I think it's like nine dollars and it's incredible and it goes nowhere nowhere so I did put that in my eyes um, and and then extended that line the turquoise line from um, Lancome I'm just putting a light coat of mascara by Smashbox on my lower lashes and then we're gonna move to our lips for now. I'm using Essence Lip Liners. They're about $2 from drugstore and they're incredible. I always, always use them. I'm using two lip liners. One is in 11 in, in the nude and the other one is in number six. I use the lighter one in my inner. Um, well, the, essentially I use the darker one outside of um, my, just the outer edge of my lip and I'm overlining my lips to make my lips look bigger and plumper and then basically the lipstick I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bella Sima 05. It is a beautiful, beautiful nude. Um, I know that there's a huge difference in the lip liner and the lipstick but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lighter lip liner and I'm going to make sure that there is a nice transition so it doesn't look harsh the camera doesn't do it justice but it actually looked super beautiful and stayed on all all day this will take time just because you want to make sure that there's a nice transition in between the lip liner and the lipstick but it, it really did pay off and make my lips look super plump and full which I love so much and I'm just going around and making sure that everything looks nice and filled for blush I'm using this Chanel blush and uh, it's very soft pink and then going to the highlight for highlight I'm using Becca opal I it's an oldie but a goodie absolutely love it I'm putting it on the top or the highest point of my face, so uh, top of my cheeks, my nose, and um, a little bit of my cupid's bow. I wanted to intensify this look even further, so I sharpened my uh, pencil from Lancome, and I went under that black eyeliner and just lined it um, with that turquoise, and that made it look so much more dramatic. Now then I went back with that Rimmel London nude eyeliner, and lined right underneath it just to make sure that it looks nice and defined this is the finished look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and um, leave me a comments below if there's any other cultural wedding videos that you want me to try out for you guys and um, that's about it. That's all I have to say. I love you guys so much. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.